So, hello guys. I'm back. I've had a week of vacation. Most stressful week this summer, almost. No, not really, but my wife. And I have been putting some shiffer flats, uh, shiffer rocks in front of the house which took almost all the week and then we were out with the kids, kids to a zoo and we were planning to sleep through two nights there but the kids didn't sleep at all on the first night so we went back home until the second night so we could get some sleep so I'm back at work and now it's soon silage time again, second cut, so I'm gonna put the silage sides on the multiva. this a taller side some for silage Took them off because I was driving some some gravel for the work I was doing in front of the house. But now it's time to put them back. This is the tricky bit to get them to line up. Front corner in. Now I got the front corner out again. Why did that one come out? This kind of millimeter precision 
See if I can kick it in place.
so now I got the sides on. Now it's just to attach the hydraulic hoses back. And then, then that's one that one is ready for silage. got some well they had in the forecast they had thunder today and yesterday also and as soon as they put thunder in the forecast then the electricity went out so that's why they have the generator on this tractor but it doesn't seem to any more thunder weather now so I'm gonna be attached and take this off the tractor and but first I'm gonna connect the hydraulic hoses to the hydraulic cylinders there so I can so I can park that multiple wagon that really cold July this far only about 16 17 degrees and dry I think this was the first rain in July 13 millimeters almost the first rain I think in a month maybe so if it was well needed, it should have come more. Wouldn't have minded 30 millimeters. Still, I think we will soon start with the silage. So even if the grass isn't that long, but it get to start over. Some places is, uh, it has dried off, so so I think the places where it has dried, it's better to cut it off, and hopefully it starts to grow again now when it has got some water. After I got the, get this done, I'm gonna put the forage harvester to attach it to the on there. And I wasn't picked up a, a camera to put on the shoot today, so I'm gonna see if I get that done. If I get that put on the on the shoot of the AF forage harvester. So. Then I can just sit and look at the screen where the grass is go going. Yes, this hose as I will attach to. Grass. Yeah. Those I will put together and this one. So. So we get the back up. Then I should probably weld this because it broke loose in the first cut. Should probably put some more sturdy iron there. See how much time I have. When we'll start with the and also 
these for the holes. These went here. And then it's all ready to go for silage. Yeah, still have to sweep the silo and put plastic on the silo and take off the front loader and also got some pins in the pickup that is loose that I have to tension up and so we still have a couple of days of work before we will start with the silage. It would be nice to get that going again. It is pretty early, but the first cut was also very early. So. so yeah, I think that's it. I'm gonna continue and see you next time. Bye bye.